Hey guys, this is Halo 3 Productions 911. Um, today I'm going to show you how to uh, mod a uh, Halo 3 map. Um, it's actually quite simple. Uh, it really should uh, come down to not costing you anything. Um, I think the only thing you need is something called something the uh, Xbox 360 hard drive transfer kit, which is typically for uh, transferring, usually when you get a 120 gig hard drive or a bigger hard drive, let's say for me I have a, a 20 gig hard drive, and say I wanted to buy a 120 gig, and it's transferring data, you know, from your old one to your new one. That's what you'll need. Now, it's been said that you can call up Microsoft and basically tell them that you just purchased a new 120 gig hard drive and you need a way to transfer your crap from your smaller hard drive to your newer hard drive and how would you do that and then they'll say they'll send you a free transfer kit but that's only what I've heard um, I personally just have one so um, you'll need one of those and then you'll need uh, a few specific programs uh, on your computer and um, those are all free and I can provide those as well so basically First, you're going to start off um, just going into Halo 3, going to Forge, pick any map, and start it up. So basically, what we're going to do here is um, just place any object on the map. That's for me. I'm going to choose a frag grenade. Just place you know, a bunch of them randomly throughout the map. Alright. Let's run on there. Okay. Save as a new map. And then just say whatever. Just name it H3 test. I don't you know, it doesn't really matter what you save it as. Alright, so basically then we're done with that, so then what you're going to need to do next is just um, turn, off your, turn off your Xbox, take out your hard drive, connect it to the Xbox 360 transfer kit, or there's other you know, types of things out there that you can buy, like you know, Xport or whatever, there's a few extra things, but this you know, works just as well. Um, and then you'll connect your hard drive to your transfer kit, and then you'll plug the USB and into your computer and then it should detect it should say loading device drivers whatever it should say loading and then eventually let's say your hardware is ready to use so <clears throat> basically now we're going to move on to the uh, computer part all right now that you've connected your 360 hard drive to your computer using the transfer kit you're going to need these three programs you see here export concept and forge there is one called Explorer 360, but that does not work with 20 gig hard drives. Ones with such as like a 120 gig. So for me and my 20 gig, I have to use Export. Anyway, open up Export. It'll find your device. OK. Drop down the list so you can see Partition 3. And you're going to see Content. Just click on that or double click or whatever. Brings it up. And then you're going to see a bunch of just lots of cryptic names. It's going to be different for everybody. You know, mine's, you know, it's, all hard are going to be different. So some around here. Here we go. And I'm going to have to look for uh, date modified. Okay, it's not going to let me. So we're going to look at, looks like this user map is it. So you're just going to take this user map, drag it onto your desktop, bam. Now we're going to keep that open for now. Alright, now we're going to go into Forge. File, open, find the user map you're looking for, double click. And see, there we are. We're on Construct. I named it H3 Test. All right, now we're going to look for Equipment. Frag Grenade. 
So there you go. There's all the information. Now there's a lot more advanced options, but we're just going to go over you know these right now. We're going to go up. We're going to choose this. Now this is a pretty famous mod, so bear with me. Oh, look, Master Chief. You probably know where I'm going with this. So then you look at all that, then make sure you hit save, otherwise it isn't going to do anything. There, save. Now up here, there's author, you know, you can type in Bungie, you know, ha ah, ha and hit, and then notice that there's a you know, specific save button for each, each section. So then you just, you know, hit save, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, we're done with this section. And now we go into concept. This little menu button here, open single con file. Look for user map. Click this uh, ID set. Now change this E to a zero. Click rehash and resign. And then I would just do it again for good measure. So then after that, we're done with that. Now export 360, we're back here. And we're going to look for our map. Drag it back in here. Say yes to all, or yes, either way, gets the job done. So now we're done with that section. Back to the 360. All right. Now, uh, as you try loading up Halo 3, for the first time, uh, you should get an error message with most people that you can't, uh, Xbox can't read your disc. That's normal. So just ignore the message. Go back. Turn your Xbox back or reload the game. You should be fine. So anyway, let's go take a look at our newly modded map. And there you have it. Live Spartans. Killable. Debaggable. There you go. So that's just a slight, you know, just introduction basically how to mod these maps. And there's plenty more. But that's obviously all, you know, kind of advanced. That's all, you know, for you to look into. But other than that, um, hopefully this kind of opens up a new world to, you know, Halo for you. And you can you know, have more fun with this game. But anyway, um... Hope you enjoyed. Uh, thanks for watching.